Any questions? David? Um, well, what, congratulations, and what does eight Tony Awards mean to you? What does that mean? Well, I think we're, just, we're thrilled. I mean, to, to go in, not you know, hoping we get certainly some, but to get eight and get as many as we did, we're, it was a tribute to everybody that worked on the show that we worked so hard to support doing. Yes, in the yellow shirt right here. Folks, you, uh, you announced a tour last month. Um, how many cities were you planning on yesterday, and how many <laughs> cities are you planning on today? <laughs> it's funny, funny you should ask. Um, I'm having a retreat this Friday with our booking agents, and I'm serious about that. And that's when we'll start to book that tour. Yes, they're right. Yes, you're a set designer this year, and you're asking why you're talking to people. Well, I think I think what Bob did and took the time to do it at ART was to strip this show down to the essence of what theater is. I mean, he's as moved as moved by the actors. That set, it was it was to bring the simplicity of the theater back. And to that, we give enormous. I mean, we're just thrilled that he was recognized by the Broadway community in getting the award for doing what is. Simple is often the hardest. It's his 60th birthday today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. I'd like to add one thing to that. And, and if you start with the nominations that once received 11 more than any other show this season, uh, it was an acknowledgement of the artistry of this production. And, and I think tonight was yet another example of that. And it's a beautiful thing. Uh, big is not always better. Although we are big. We are big. <laughs> Next question? Yes, in the back. Will you be involved with more musicals with the New York Theatre Workshop? Hope so. Yeah, it was fantastic. Are you doing Roger Reese's new musical? Pardon me? Are you doing Roger Reese's new no. musical? No. No, we haven't been asked. <laughs> no, no, no. no, although we, uh, we, Robert and I heard it and it's absolutely wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Because, uh, we're doing because, it, we? uh, oh, oh, actually, we, we are going to. At the moment, I, I, I'm not sure, but it's, but it's absolutely wonderful. And not That's surprising from Roger and uh, yes. Rick Aliche. So, the uh, showdown between music and once uh, since um, I don't know, well, for you guys, uh, how does it feel for like, you know, it, why? Well, I, I, music is a whale of a show. It's just one has. To, I, sadly, there has to. I guess there has to be a winner. And and um, this piece is just one of those. I mean, it's as John said. It's very interesting, actually. It's it it's bigger than life. It's bigger than it, it what it seems at first. It's small and subtle. It reminds me a lot of the comments were made fifty some odd years ago, fifty seven years ago about Marty when everybody said, what's this little movie? How can this even compete? And it suddenly wins Best Picture. And it does because there's something that spoke to a huge audience from a very, what seemed to be a small, but an incredibly eloquent voice. And from Glenn and Marquette's songs have been speaking to millions for now six years. And we're so, to have those as our foundation and then have John Tiffany's and Stephen Hoggett's and all of our creative team's contributions on those songs and then this company and the fact that they play their instruments. I mean, the fact that David Patrick Kelly plays the fucking mandolin <laughs> <laughs> and he plays it, you know, like he was born with it in his hands. Who, as some critic, one of the critics said, and it might have been in the Times, who knew? But anyway, it's a it's a it's an incredible amount of, of blessings. But we, we started with the most astounding of all blessings, which was John Carney's simple idea and Glenna Marquette's extraordinary score. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much.